Hey everyone, this is question number 24 of the math uh, grade 5 practice test for TN Ready. We're in subpart 3. This is a calculator allowed section. So the question says the first layer of a rectangular prism is packed with 15 unit cubes. There are no spaces or gaps between the cubes. The prism is the prism, not the prison. It's three unit cubes tall. Which expression represents the volume of a rectangular prism? Now, what does that mean? Volume is a three-dimensional measure, of course. A unit cube is a cube that has all sides are equal. So this and this, and then you'd have this whole thing. It's terribly drawn, I get you. But just say that this side, this side, and this side are all the same. So you'd fit them in here. So how I'm going to show that in this case is I'm just going to draw out something that has 15 unit cubes. So I'm going to do a 3 by 5. Why not? Now you're going to have to lie to yourself and pretend like these are even. I know they are not. I'm not ridiculous about it. Just my hand, my drawing is ridiculous. So same thing here. It would go back. But these are only three units. And you can fill all this stuff in, whatever. Oops, I don't know why that deleted that, but it did, so I'm going to have to go back and fix it. Um, so the bigger issue here is they want to know what the volume is. To find the volume of the figure, I need to multiply the length times the width times the depth, so how deep it is. So it's 15, or 3 times 5 would give you 15. That would be the area of the front here, because this is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 1, 2, 3, so 3 by 5. That's where I got the 15, by the way, in case you were wondering what was going on there. Um, and then I need to multiply it by the depth. So I would have 1, 2, 3 of these, and this would continue back, this would continue back, this would continue back, this would continue back. So how many are there total? So each one in the front, there's 15. There's three layers of it, so I need to do 15 times 3, because this one has 15. This row has 15, and this one has 15. So five, 15 times 3 is the correct answer. Which expression represents the volume? Now, it doesn't say which expressions. They love to do multiple ones here, but it's 15 times 3 because I have one group of 15, two groups of 15, three groups of 15. If they tell you that a space is packed with a certain number of unit cubes, they're telling you, like, hey, pay close attention. This will tell you where the, the area of the base of the shape is going to be. And then they'll tell you how far, how many of those that you have. Volume is big baby base, or the area of the base. We used to call it big baby base when I was teaching in high school. Times height. So big baby base would be the 15 units that you're already given. And it's 5 times 3 in this case. It could be any version of it. And then times the height of 3. So the height is how far it is between the two base shapes. So there you go. 24.